Hello again. Um, welcome to the next set of answers for the daily quiz. Um, so the first question this time was because we discussed about great sporting films uh, last time. Uh, I thought we will um, continue with the theme. Um, and uh, I've shown the photograph, black and white photograph of a great athlete who inspired one of the greatest sporting films of all time. And he's none other than Eric Little. Um, he's a, uh, a British athlete who con competed in the 1924 Olympic Games. He had strong religious beliefs in he with this missionary background. And he re when he realized that the 100 meters, which is his pet event, was going to be the qualifying rounds, the 100 meters was going to be held on a Sunday. He refused to compete because it fell on their Sabbath day and the holy day and they were not allowed to compete. So he then started preparing for 200 and 400 meters, which were not his pet events. And, um, and um, when it came to the actual Olympics, he surprised everyone by winning the 400 meters gold. And uh, the gold medal in the 100 meters, which he gave, gave up, um, went to a compatriot called Harold Abrahams. So the story of Eric Little and Harold Abrahams has been made into this classic film called Chariots of Fire. So it's a film which you should watch if you haven't watched it already. The second question was um, a photograph uh, uh, of a, a, an actor playing a very, uh, probably the most important role of his life. And the question was, which historical character is this actress play, actor playing in this iconic film? As you would know, that is from the film Braveheart, which was directed by Mel Gibson himself and with him playing the leading role. And he's playing the role of the great um, Scottish freedom fighter William Wallace, who fought the English valiantly. Um, and um, again, if you're going to come to visit Scotland at some point, Stirling Castle is worth visiting. And that's where um, uh, William Wallace's um, legend is um, closely associated with. Last but not the least, the world hardly remembers Nobel Prize winners Ernst Boris Chain and Edward Abraham. But we do remember the person who they shared the Nobel Prize with in 1945. Who is that? None other than Sir Alexander Fleming, uh, who is credited with the discovery of antibiotics by his serendipitous discovery of penicillin. Uh, and he realized that some of the slides he had slept, set aside became moldy and the mold actually stopped the bacterial growth of Staphylococcus. And that's how this first came to focus accidentally. And then he worked on it. And then as the rest, as they say, his history. And last but not the least, um, what is the connection between these three clues? The connection is Scotland. Eric Little was Scottish. Um, uh, William Wallace obviously was a great Scottish um, freedom fighter, um, as they call it. And um, Sir Alexander Fleming was a Scot was Scottish too, although he moved to England in his I think teens to pursue his education and everything. So he's Scottish as well. The obvious connection between these three answers is the Scottish connection. I'll see you again with another quiz and um, wish you all the very best. Bye bye.